no, 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 no. <laughs> She just thinks I starve her because she's constantly hungry and it makes me feel like a crap mum because there's only so much I can do. One of the youngest patients is five-year-old Liliana. She's twice the average weight for her age and the team need to work out why. How has it been since the last appointment? It's no. been very stressful, lots of tantrums. She's got into a really bad habit now of stealing food okay. from the cupboards, the fridge. Mm. I call it eating a raw sausage out of the freezer. Sorry? A raw sausage. <coughs> you can keep still, please. I can't eat your shoe off. Since her last visit, not only has her weight gone up, her behaviour has deteriorated. Right, get on those scales now, Lily. No. I'm fed up of being nice. No. Get on the scales. No. One, two, no. two and a half. Come on, Lily's turn. No. And her constant hunger is worrying the team. I don't think at the moment it, we're getting anywhere. No, I don't need help. We need to very carefully investigate any other issues. Hello, it's Julian Hamilton Shields. I wonder if you could do me a favour. With one last avenue to explore, Julian sends her test to a specialist lab to see if there's a hidden reason for her obesity. Do you worry about the repercussions on her health? Yeah, of course I do. She always says, am I going to be in the wheelchair, Mum? No. <laughs> she will. I mean, I love it. I'm scared that I'm going to be a cover. Five-year-old Liliana has been called to the lab, where her tests have been analysed. <laughs> no talking. Gotta stay nice and still, Lil. Her weight has risen to seven stone, and they're trying to work out if there's an underlying reason. What does it do? So there we were measuring how the body burns calories, and we can measure how much of the calories you burn come from fat versus carbohydrate, okay? It's all done. Well done. No, I can talk. <laughs> okay, we're all done. Let's go. Thank you. Right, come through. Thank you. So all the doctors in Bristol work very closely with us. You did some mouth swab tests, and so one of the things that we're looking at is whether there may be a reason you are a little bit heavy. And one of the things that we look at is whether sometimes that might be because there's a certain gene that might not be working. When we tested your sample, then we found that your gene was not working. <laughs> it's just one gene, and the other genes are fine. So one of the things that the gene does is it works in the brain and it affects your appetite. She's always hungry. Yeah. And that can be quite a hard thing. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Because you're probably being told off like all the time. <laughs> it's not your fault you're hungry. No. <laughs> oh, okay, right, okay. So, so you okay? Yeah, you're friends with me now, aren't you? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, oh, right, Aww. okay. <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> good, good. Now, if the gene isn't working, it gets hungrier and hungrier. Exactly. Now, if you take a regular person and you don't let them eat for Mom. three days, just imagine how hungry you would be. Oh, I would be starving. That's how this little one will feel all the time. Oh, no. Right? Okay. So there are a couple of medicines that have now been developed. That so very, very what cool. we would want to do is to have you a little bit older yeah. before we would start those. So, in the meantime, keep an eye on what you're eating. <laughs> yeah? Try to eat the healthy things and the right things and make sure that the weight doesn't go on. Because <laughs> with this gene, what we find is your body is not very good at burning calories. Does it sound okay? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> good. Well done. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> that is a massive relief. I now know that it is an actual medical condition. 
I, I feel like that I don't have to worry anymore about what people say and what they think about her. <laughs>